In this part, we will take care of some additional functions that are available on purchase invoices. This can help you prepare invoices quicker and more efficient. So let's try with new invoice. First, you can use copy document function. It's not active because we don't have number yet. When we will choose the number, you can choose copy document function. With this, you can choose any type of document on the purchase side of the system. So you can choose quotes, orders, credit memos or return orders and posted documents area. So we have posted receipts, posted invoices and also documents that exist in archive. So we can base on every type of purchase documents. The most common way is use posted invoices here. Let's choose document number. Here we have all the invoices posted in the system. We can take any vendor and any invoice. As you can see, we don't have any vendor data, so we will take the data from the source invoice. Okay, so let's take one of those. Okay. In include header option, you will mark if you want to include all the data from the source header. So in this case, we need to do it because we don't have vendor in our invoice. So we need to mark include header. Recalculate lines means that system will calculate the prices again based on new header data. So we can check this or not as we as we wish, but we can copy any document. So now system inserts all the data from the source invoice. 